Hi students, in today's class what I am going to teach you is an important conversion tertiary butyl chloride to tertiary butyl ethyl ether which appeared in your uh, board exam 2020. Okay, so this is your uh, uh, tertiary butyl chloride and uh, this is your tertiary butyl ethyl ether. Okay, so immediately when you listen to the word ether, which reaction comes to your mind, which reaction Williamson ether synthesis, isn't it? See, for any ether of this kind any ether so it is an asymmetric ether right it is an asymmetric ether so to prepare an asymmetric unsymmetrical ether unsymmetric sorry i used the term wrongly so unsymmetric ether so there are two possibilities there are two ways you can uh, prepare this see the the first method one R part one alkyl part should come as the alkyl halide should come as alkyl halide and the other part should come as alcohol should come as alcohol okay so this way you can prepare this what is the other way what is the other way so here the R part here the R part is coming as alcohol and your R dash and your R dash is coming as your alhalide part okay so this is another way so either way you can prepare this and this happens in presence of sodium hydroxide so in presence of sodium hydroxide what happens students your alcohol uh, reacts with your sodium hydroxide so uh, the base it is used as a base what is the purpose of a base to abstract acidic proton where is acidic proton here here is acidic proton okay so here it is a source of oh minus so it will go and abstract this proton so here a more strong alkoxide this is a very strong base okay so for this purpose only we are this is as it is it is a base only but this is a very stronger base than sodium hydroxide so in presence of a stronger base what happens so here r dash o minus is, uh, is formed in c2 so it will undergo sn2 mechanism this will undergo sn2 mechanism to form this one okay so your alkylate will go go uh, will leave from this uh, alkyl halide okay so here in sodium hydroxide in presence of sodium hydroxide what happens here here the sodium hydroxide reacts with uh, reacts with this alcohol to form ro minus and what it will do it is going to it is going to attack this r dash okay your um, halide will be will act as a leaving group giving rise to your in either case in either way you can prepare this unsymmetrical ether okay so if you uh, keep this uh, keep this reaction in your mind and think of this conversion what you will immediately think of what you will immediately think of okay i have an alkyl halide here okay so here i am going to add ethanol ethanol okay so the ethyl part is coming as alcohol here in presence of sodium hydroxide immediately you will think of this if you think like this okay this is a wrong way you cannot uh, obtain this product why because while uh, choosing the alkyl halide in your williamson ether synthesis there are two exceptions what are they so your alkyl halide cannot be tertiary butyl alkyl halide and your alkyl halide cannot be your aromatic alkyl halide because in this see this step this step your alkyl halide your alkyl halide since it is an it is an sp2 carbon it is an sp2 carbon this attack cannot take place this sn2 mechanism nucleophilic substitution cannot take place so your alkyl halide you cannot choose as aromatic halide okay then your tertiary butyl halide why tertiary butyl halide what happens you see your tertiary butyl halide it is known for its okay tertiary butyl halide tertiary butyl group it is known for its stable carbocation immediately what happens it will undergo sn1 mechanism so your uh, halogen will leave from this group your halogen will leave immediately leaving behind the very strong very uh, stable in fact very stable carbocation this is a tertiary carbocation okay so immediately this one will be formed and in presence of your 
in presence of your any alkyl halide in presence of okay any alcohol form in presence of sodium hydroxide i told you this strong base will be created no okay so this is a very strong base so what will happen is it will go and abstract one proton here and it will leads to elimination and it will leads to elimination giving rise to what you will get only butylin you will get butylin you will not get this product you will not get this product so how to get this product so here in your uh, tertiary butyl ethyl ether your tertiary butyl cannot come as alkyl part okay so cleave it here so you can take ethanol okay sorry uh, cleave it here cleave it here i'm sorry cleave it here your uh, tertiary butyl cannot come as halide part it can come as alcohol part right so your ethyl part is going to come as halide part here so how to obtain this reaction students so but you may ask ma'am only tertiary butyl chloride is given so that is a twist they have they have given for you so if you convert this to alcohol first so you cannot take the tertiary butyl group as the halide but you can take this to alcohol right so how to convert this this is what your chlorine is replaced by your chlorine is replaced by oh group so it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction so what is the reagent for nucleophilic substitution reaction aqueous NaOH aqueous alkali okay so convert this chloride tertiary butyl chloride into alcohol then take your ethyl as your halide part in presence of sodium hydroxide so in presence of sodium hydroxide what will happen this oh minus will go and abstract this proton giving rise to tertiary uh, butyl alkoxide okay so this will undergo the sn1 sn2 mechanism okay then you it will give you the desired product your desired product okay so i hope uh, uh, this uh, this reaction helped you okay meet you in next video